Good evening and welcome to the KTN News. I'm Nick Odiambo. Diseases that have plagued humanity over the years, cancer may be perhaps the most dreaded. And of all the people affected by the 21st century nightmare, the youth rank highest. Tonight, our reporter Timothy Otieno brings us a story of a 21-year-old commonly known as legend who suffers from two cancerous tumors but surprisingly uses the most uncanny of ways to get through. Take a look. Gladys Mumbi Kyoi is beginning her morning like most mothers do. In the kitchen. But her agenda is different. She has to prepare a special diet meal for her 21-year-old son, John Kangede Kyoi, who ails from kidney cancer and already has a 16-centimeter tumor growing inside his chest. John's parents have seen it all and been through it all. Having spent thousands of shillings on their son's treatment, they are now running out of options. Documented evidence of the rocky journey they have undergone, which began in December 2015, show of a family more than a year now still struggling to keep their son alive. Back then, John, who was an IT student at ZTEC University, began complaining of lower back pains. A series of misdiagnoses from more than five hospitals would come to fold in August last year when he was told he had developed cancer on his left kidney. I'm a cancer fighter. My story is a long one. It's been on for more than a year. And... I'm currently undergoing cancer treatment here locally. Nijabungumu, ningumu, ata siju iniseme nini kijana yangu, kifedha kwa kila kitu. What has kept us going actually is the Lord Jesus. But it appears a decision by this young man about six months ago to engage more in his passion could have turned the tides for this family. 24th January this year, John would undergo his first chemotherapy session and what he did next shocked even his parents. Kaniambia mam, mimi sita kuwa nikishinda kwa kitanda, nikifikiria nikona kansa. Meogea na my dad, it is then that this mechanic shop was started. John decides to take us to his haven. His father by his side, they make a journey that they have engaged in almost every morning. No sooner do we arrive than his first customer drives in and this kid popularly known as legend here in Ruiru town, where his garage is based, clearly knows his staff. Armed with the latest mechanic technology has to offer, his love for cars has enabled him to thrive in a field reserved for a select few. Never mind the fact that he has never undergone any form of training in the subject matter. I love the cars. Yani niki watu ndani ya gari, mina juwaga. Ah, manze. Apple life because it got too poor. No matter the distance, even no matter the pain, it's like a therapy. The love becomes like a therapy. It heals you in a way. And in this yard, German machines have found a home. Chef Admuru has been Legend's client since August last year. He's known as a pro. With when it comes to especially the BMW. This customer has driven all the way from Machakos town to have his car fixed by the 21-year-old. I was referred to John by a friend of mine and uh, because of the expertise that John has, that is why I opted to come and bring my vehicle for him to check it out. Because he has all the tools, he has the knowledge, he has vast experience, especially on uh, these German vehicles. BMWs and Mercedes. The volunteer who had suspended his university education due to the growing financial strain imposed on his parents does his yard work alongside two professionals. To make it a one-stop automotive shop, it's like a pit stop garage service. Umetoka kofisi, nakombia, you come 15 minutes. You want, what do you want changed? According to the Kenya Cancer Association, over 40,000 new cancer cases are recorded each year. 
a huge block of which affects the youth, with one out of every seven people likely to be below the age of 30. However, legend, who belongs to that group, believes that fighting the disease is much easier if you have something worthwhile to focus on. Go out there. Even if your immunity is low, just look for a secluded, secluded place. You love, you love being a poet. Write your poems and uh, share with guys. The last born in a family of six who has lost nearly 60 kilos since he began treatment is scheduled to undergo a chemotherapy session next week, Tuesday. But he will cross that bridge when he gets there. For now, the only session that matters to him is the one he has with these machines. How many chances are you willing to take is perhaps the question that life may have posed to 21-year-old John Kyoi. His response, as many as life is willing to offer. You see, for him, cars are not just the ultimate thrill. They act as some form of therapy, ensuring he lives each day at a time, enjoying what he loves to do most, ensuring that he not only stays happy, but his clients as well go back home satisfied. Timothy Otieno, KTN News.